Hello and welcome to the Python tutorial series. My name is Daniel Lari and uh, before starting the session today, I'm going to show you something. Just look at here, a few uh, uh, learners uh, were asking that, uh, sir, a few topics you haven't covered. So just look at here uh, and just go and watch the videos from the playlist. And here you will find all the list of the topic that I have already covered. And here you will find that uh, I have covered this uh, topics in a sequential manner. Gradually we have uh, covered uh, so many things uh, uh, till now. So uh, just look at here. So here you will find every, every topic and from here if you read then you will go on to the next topic that is uh, uh, important on and that is on the basis of the previous topic so uh, try to learn the topics from the playlist this will help you out and uh, one more thing i want to show you uh, here is one uh, application that is on play store that is uh, java promise learn java and java promise so you can download and learn the java if you want so um, and this is the highest rated application till now 4.8 is a rating of this application in this session i will discuss about uh, a one a very important module that is called shutil or you can say shuttle okay so we we can say it is there uh, it is as SH util and this uh, module is uh, for high level file operations so as you can see that here uh, the definition is uh, already mentioned that SH util module offers a number of high level operation on the files and collection of the files so uh, let's explore that how to perform the operation high level operations on the files and uh, if you want to read then you can go and uh, read uh, this is the official documentation of python so let's start and i will try to keep it simple and i will try to explain the things in an easy way that you can you can understand that how to use shutil and what is the use of this shutil in application okay okay uh, one more thing i want to discuss here that i forget in the uh, in the previous uh, session uh, suppose you want to write something then uh, definitely we open the file in w mode that is a uh, write mode and suppose i want to write something on data one so we use the method f dot write uh, in place of f dot write suppose i want uh, let's execute this one first and if I open data1.txt, then you can see that something on file. Uh, you can do uh, this by using the print statement also. So if I write print, and here if I write hello from application, okay. So it will print the output on the console. Just look at here. But I want that this should be on the file. So what you can do, you can pass this uh, as uh, an argument that is called file is equal and where you want to write this th that will be now become destination for this output so i want to write on the file f that uh, that is pr uh, pointed by the f i can write file if this one okay so if i execute this one then you can see data1.txt will have something on file and hello from the application okay so you can write on the file by using the print statement also this is the thing that i have forget in the last session to uh, tell you okay so uh, now come to the actual topic that i want to show you sh util first of all import and you do not need to uh, install any other third party uh, module and third party library and this is by default available in your uh, python that you can use in your application sh.util uh, so far uh, if you want to copy one file from another file then what we do f is equal we uh, open a file okay suppose i want to copy the data.txt here so here you will uh, write first of all data.txt and after that we open that in read mode and suppose another file is f1 i want to write the data1.txt data on the data one dot uh, da the data that is available on data.txt i want to write on data1 dot txt file so definitely i'll open into write mode okay so what we do to perform this operation uh, suppose i want to copy the data from here to this location so we uh, read one by line, one by one line and after that we perform the write operation on f1 uh, we can do this by using the sh util very uh, very in a very easy way what you can do sh util just call dot there is a method that is called copy and here you will pass the source 
from where you want to copy the data so i want to copy the data from uh, the method is copy object that is copy file obj this one and here you can pass your file source okay so file source is f and uh, destination is f1 that's it you do not need to write loop and all the all that stuff that we have already learned in the previous session and as i have already explained if you have open then you need to close so f1 dot close also okay so let's see that what is the output of this code and since we are not getting an error so it means the code is fine let's see that data1.txt so what is in data1.txt as you can see python tutorial as the data is available on data.txt the data is copied into data1.txt file so i think this uh, method is very efficient and very easy way to copy the data and it is very fast okay another thing uh, you can do uh, by uh, by using a method that is called copy okay so in place of this uh, if you are using this method then you need to file pass two file object that point that is pointing uh, those are pointing to the files from where you want to read and uh, the destination here where you want to write the data uh, another one is you do not need to create even your file object okay the method is called copy very simple just copy and pass your first file source and file source you will be your path the path could be your uh, uh, relative path as well as you, you can pass any uh, absolute path so i'm going to take a relative path that is data.txt here and i want to write the data on uh, suppose uh, data2.txt so let's uh, copy this and uh, to show you let me open the file explorer first and here refresh it so as you can see that data dot data 2.txt is now available and the data is copied into data.txt so tell me that uh, isn't it easy okay that how to copy one file data to another file by using the only copy method you do not need to create a file object and you need to not need to uh, write all the stuff that we have already written previously uh, another method is also available that is called copy to copy to and copy is same uh, but uh, only one difference is copy to also copies the metadata of the uh, source file uh, so uh, metadata means the creation time last access time so all the things will be copied as it is into the data 2.txt so it is sim uh, same as the copy method next method that i want to discuss is called a copy file so let me first type that copy file and here you will pass your source and destination source and destination will be your string and that could be your path that is that will be your path and it could be your uh, relative and absolute path so uh, suppose here i am going to create one folder first and that fol folder is called new folder okay i want to copy this file that is data.txt into the new folder so what will i do first of all i will write here that is data.txt and i want to copy this into new folder okay slash and one uh, one thing you need to do here that uh, which uh, in which file you want to copy this so you can rename the file or you can provide the same name so if i write data.txt so it will create a new file data.txt into the new folder as you can see new folder is empty and if i run this then you can see here that inside the new folder one file is created that is data.txt and it has the same content that is on the data.txt even you can change the file name also if i write data2.txt so it will create a new file here that will be data2.txt okay so one question can be uh, 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 come into your mind that what is the difference between copy and copy file so the difference between copy and copy file is suppose uh, let me comment this first and here if I use only copy and uh, 
this is your source and this is your destination and if i do not provide any file name into it just look at here i am just providing that into the new folder copy this file okay so okay uh, and let me delete first this one and here now going to execute this one so new folder data.txt and inside new folder you can see that data.txt is created so if you do not pass any name into the copy method it will create a file name with your source file name with the same as your source file name but in the case of this that is your copy file if you do not provide a file name for example if i read this one that is data.txt i'm providing only the folder name and i want to copy uh, the file into this folder so what will happen just look at here let me okay so first i'll delete this data.txt from here now folder is empty and if i execute this one then it will say that this is error access is permission denied why because you are not passing any file name so here mandatory that the data that you want to copy in the folder in which file you want to copy so you need to provide the file name for example abc.py okay so it will create abc.py and now you can see that if this file has been created and inside this file you can see that the same content is available okay so this is the difference between copy and copy file so i hope uh, this difference is uh, clear to all of you another method is called move suppose uh, you want to move your file uh, let me first delete this okay you want to delete this data1.txt from here to new folder okay so you can use a method that is called move simple okay so data1.txt i want to move from here into the new folder and uh, if you do not provide anything then uh, it will move as it is so as you can see that data1.txt has been moved and which location that is new folder and in fact it works with file as well as the folder for example if you have another uh, folder let me create one folder that is uh, f1 and uh, inside f1 i am going to create another folder that is f2 and inside f2 i will create one file okay that is my text so i want to move this uh, f1 to the new folder so what uh, can i do here that i can write only f1 so f1 will re, uh, move into the new folder just look at here so just as you can see in inside new folder f1 is move so one method move you can move the file as well as you can move your folder uh, second last method that i want to discuss here is called uh, copy tree okay so what is copy tree let's see let me delete this one shutil dot copy tree source and destination suppose this one copy and uh, let me paste here first this is your f1 and i want to let me first delete everything from here you want to copy all the files and folders from f1 f2 and this file into the new folder okay so you can use copy tree this uh, method and which so i want to copy f1 to the new folder okay new folder and you cannot uh, leave it as blank uh, you have to pass one file if i run this one just, just look at here we will get error that cannot create a file with the file already exists that is new folder okay so you have to pass one uh, folder here that where you want to copy this so i want to copy into new folder one okay so let's execute this one so inside the new folder one new folder will be created new folder one and inside this you can see f2 and all the files have been copied so i hope uh, this uh, copy tree is also clear if you want to copy all all the things uh, uh, from one location to another location so you can use the copy tree method of the shutil 
okay uh, one more method that i want to discuss before binding this session uh, suppose you want to delete anything this one i have already explained this one into the os module suppose you want to delete uh, the new folder so uh, you can delete a new uh, any folder by using uh, the remove uh, rmdir or remove directories methods okay so for that uh, the compulsion is suppose uh, there is a folder that is f1 and uh, let me create one more folder so this will make clear new folder and here the folder is xyz okay i want to delete this folder so what i can do here let me comment this and i can use uh, os module if you remember just go and watch if you don't know that how to use the os module os and i can write os dot okay rmdir so i want to delete uh, this xyz so i can pass xyz fine good enough uh, to delete any method and just look at here xyz is deleted but if i want to delete f1 so f1 will not delete by using this uh, method uh, let me write f1 and if i write this then you can see that it will say that uh, f1 is not empty why because f1 has another folder f2 and f2 has my text another file so uh, this uh, this can be done suppose uh, let me create another folder i will keep it f1 to perform some operation folder that is xyz and inside this i will create another folder that is abc so uh, i can delete this by providing the full path recursively by using remove and remove directories so i want to delete here f1 and slash f2 i want to delete both uh, sorry xyz slash abc so I can do by using this method that is remove those. So as you can see, just look at here that X, Y, Z and ABC deleted. But if I want to perform the operation with F1, F2, but it will not going to delete. Why? Just look at here. F1 and F2. Copy and execute. As you can see that it says that directory is not empty. So you cannot delete. So OS dot remove uh, directories is uh, not efficient to delete any folder which is not empty. Okay. So it means uh, before deleting any directories by using this method, this is compulsion that your directory must be empty. Now come to the SHUtil method. Okay. Uh, SHUtil module. So by using SHUtil. Okay sshutil dot there is a method that is called rm tree remove tree and here you just need to pass the tree head from where you want to delete so i want to delete from f1 okay you just need to pass f1 f1 and execute this so as you can see that f1 is deleted so uh, i hope uh, this uh, these methods that I have explained by using uh, in in the SSUtil all are clear to all of you. So uh, thank you for watching this video. That's all for uh, this session. Uh, please like, comment, and share your ideas, share your views, and please do subscribe my channel. There are so many videos I'll cover in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.